guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and welcome to a new episode of Roman Cookery. As you know, this is our weekly appointment. Every Sunday night you will find a new video about Roman Cookery. In the ancient diet, chickpeas had an important role and were really common even among modest people. Athena Eos quotes a passage from a lost comedy written by a poet named Alessi. In the comedy appears a woman that complains about the poverty of her diet. Among the ingredients, she cites broad beans, looping beans, defined by Athenaeus like the permanent dining companion of the cleaning of the poor. Vegetables, round turner, mochi, a kind of green peas, cicerchia, very similar to broad beans, acorn, onions, chickpeas, wild pears, dried figs, and even, yes, even cicadas. Everybody, even the poor, could afford to eat a little bit of chickpeas. At times, hunger was so dangerous. There is a story about a guy munching chickpeas, and due to his excessive ability, he ended up dying out of asphyxiation. Even though chickpeas were everywhere to be found, especially in modest people's diet, they still have noble origins. According to Athenaeus, chickpeas were invented by Poseidon. This news is not documented elsewhere and can surprise you, since the divinity of Poseidon is linked to the waters of the sea. As we all know, Poseidon became the protecting human of the abyss. However, the water that he protects is essential for cultivating the fields. Chickpeas, such a modest product, yet very important in the country, in the end, have a very strong connection with the mighty god of the sea. Come with me and I'll show you how it's made. May Poseidon attend us. Okay guys, let's get started. First of all, you need to leave your chickpeas for 12 hours in the water. So you get a bowl like I've done, like a big one, because we're talking about 500 grams of chickpeas. So it's a lot of chickpeas. So do that and leave it overnight for around about 12 hours. So our next step is, I, I'm gonna use this bowl and I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna drain the chickpeas, okay? Okay, let's drain the chickpeas. So we're, we're gonna be removing the water, okay? And we're gonna put it back in the bowl, in the previous bowl. So. I'm gonna put it back here. Now I'm gonna have to add one spoon of baking soda. Okay, so one spoon of baking soda and I'm gonna mix it. Okay. And you have to leave it there for around about one hour. And after one hour, we're gonna have to rinse the chickpeas, okay? Every now and then, make sure that you mix it, okay? And then we're gonna rinse it. See you in a bit. Okay, here we go, time has come, so we need to rinse it well, we need to get rid of the baking soda, so that's why I'm washing it really well.
time has come to put our chickpeas here in the water and we will start cooking it. I would suggest you to cook it with a moderate fire, okay? Don't burn it. Very good, we will use one of my ceramic knives, perfect to cut. So we will start cleaning the onion first. So, and then we will start, of course, taking, getting rid of this part that we don't need. Okay. Sometimes make me feel emotional. So let's add our first half of onions. Very good, let's add the other half of the onion. Let's add a little bit of salt. Let the chickpeas cook till they get really tender. When they're very tender, they're ready. So it was gonna take a while. Every now and then, make sure that you stir it up, that you mix it well. And yeah, that's perfect. So we'll see you in a bit. Well guys, since we mixed our chickpeas with baking soda, some foam may appear. Well, make sure that you remove it, okay? Don't make a mess like I usually do. Just remove the foam. Okay, the time has come, our chickpeas are ready. I'm gonna put it here. To make it taste a little bit better, if you like, just add a little bit of olive oil. I like it a lot with the stuff, you know, and also a little bit of black pepper, and I'm gonna enjoy. Well, we are ready to go. It is good to eat healthy food every now and then. Let's try and see how it goes. Very good job. Very good recipe. You're gonna love it. Wow, this is just amazing. I love it so much. Very nice and tasty. And it's Perfect for winter season, guys. If it's cold outside, you can get warm in a little bit of chickpeas. Fantastic. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad. Bye-bye.
Bye.